guys, a lot of you have been requesting for me to come up with my very own rainbow loom design. So in this video, I'm going to show you my first one. This is called the Springs on String. And as I said, I created this. I've never seen it anywhere else. It combines string and rainbow loom bands. And then I have this button closure. You can also turn this into a wrap bracelet just by putting bands on more of the string and having it wrap around your wrist a few times. I do have a tutorial from a while back called the beaded wrap bracelet, which uses beads and jump rings. So if you want to check out that video, I will put a link in the description box below. I'll also put a link to my rainbow loom playlist. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up if you like rainbow loom videos and you like my bracelet design. Before I get into this tutorial, I also want to show you another bracelet that I came up with. The fishtail has been around forever, you know, since rainbow loom first came out. So I obviously don't take credit for coming up with a fishtail, but I haven't seen them joined like this before. It's kind of like a three pin fish tail ladder. I might call it the split fish because it looks like it was two bracelets and then it kind of split apart. If you have a better name for it, then just leave it in the comment section below. This is kind of more of an advanced bracelet. It does take a while and it took about 140 bands for my wrist. So I will try to post this tutorial next week. If I don't get it up next week, then I'll post it the week after because I will be in LA next week. Just letting you guys know it will be a little hectic, but without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. For this bracelet, you're going to use string. I like to use plastic canvas cord that I got from Michaels. What you're going to do is fold this string in half before you cut it and you want to just put that around your wrist and then add a few inches because you need extra to work with. So then you'll just cut that and then you'll be left with these two ends and then a fold on one side. When the string is folded exactly in half, you want the ends to line up and then I'm just going to put some masking tape around the end to hold it in place. It will make it easier to work with. Next, choose your colors of rainbow loom bands. I get my bands from Michaels and Learning Express. I'm taking my first band and I'm going to just put that on the string. Then I'm going to twist it and loop that around the end of string, twist it again and pull that over the top of the string, and then twist it one more time and pull that over the top of the string. So it kind of forms a spring shape. Then you're going to push that band along the string until you get it a few inches in. And you're going to repeat this for every single band. I'm going to show you how to do it with the hook. So you're just going to twist this around your hook. I twist it three times to make four loops. So I put it on the end of the hook and then I'm just going to hook that loop of string at the end and I'm going to just pull each single part of the band over it. So I pull four times. Now if your string is a different thickness than mine, you might have to loop it more or less. That's all you have to do. So here I'm twisting the next band and basically they're just going to look like beads or a wrapped friendship bracelet, which is a really cool effect I think with these rainbow loom bands. I ended up putting 12 bands on my bracelet. You can still see the string on the ends. If you don't want that, you can cover it completely or you can cut a ton of string so it wraps around your wrist more than once so you can have a wrap bracelet. Now I'm going to show you how to make the closure. You can take off your tape at this point and I'm going to use a button with one hole on the back. You can of course use a clasp and jump ring or have someone tie it on your wrist as well. For the button closure, I'm going to form a loop in the one end by just tying one knot. Make sure that your button fits through it. Then on the other side where you have the two loose ends of string, you're going to just put the button through one of those and kind of fit it around your wrist to make sure that it's the right length. Then you stick the button through the loop and then you're just going to make a couple knots so the button is secure. Finally, you can cut the excess strings off and when you're using this type of cord, you can also secure the ends by either burning them carefully, be careful, or you could put some strong glue such as super glue on the ends to kind of hold the knot together better. That's it. I hope you enjoyed my personal creation out of rainbow loom bands. If you end up making this, use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me your springs on string rainbow loom bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for my springs on string rainbow loom bracelet idea. And I hope you guys are excited for the split fish. I'm going to try to create more of my own bracelets. Back when I first got a rainbow loom, I had no clue that you could do that. And I just thought that rainbow loom had created all the bracelets that were in existence. But I have been finding a lot of rainbow loom bracelet channels here on YouTube that come up with their own original designs. And I think that's really awesome. So when you are asking me to do a bracelet tutorial, kind of check around and see 
who came up with it because I don't want to be taking everyone's bracelet ideas. Not that I've ever tried to take credit for any of the bracelet videos I've done in the past. They were just really highly requested videos and you guys wanted to have me teach you how to do them, so I did. But I'm just kind of going to stick with the basic Rainbow Loom designs that you can find like on the Rainbow Loom website or ones that I come up with on my own. So it's kind of hard to do because everyone has Rainbow Loom videos out there. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my bracelet design and you like Rainbow Loom in general. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I put up Rainbow Loom videos every once in a while, but I also put up other types of crafts on Fridays for my Crafty Friday videos. So that could be duct tape, polymer clay, drawing, Valentine's Day, crayon, any type of craft, you name it, I do it, I'm going to try anyway. So if you have any type of video requests, leave those in the comment section below as well. I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye!